What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lyman Football. Now today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the Jordan Retro 10 TD Mid Cleats. Now, first off, I wanna say thank you to East Bay for sending me these cleats. Guys, these cleats will be linked in the first link in the description down below. Now, today's video isn't gonna be an unboxing. It's not gonna be a full review. And the reason is these cleats are getting harder and harder to come by for a lot of sizes, right? So with these cleats now, Jordan didn't announce anything new for this year along this Retro 10 line. So basically whatever you can get is what you can get at this point. And the Jordan 10 Retros as a mass produced cleat is not really available to like these sizes that a lot of linemen actually need, which is kind of crazy because these are kind of a lineman cleat. Um, but it's hard to get these above like a size 11, 11 and a half, anything in that area. I was able to get my hands on a pair of size 10s. Okay, now actually one of my favorite things with this cleat, which is weird, um, but it's that it comes in a Jordan box and it, it just, it's honestly a really weird feeling for me to do football related videos and then get stuff from Jordan. And it just really hasn't set in yet that Jordan is emerged themselves in the football. And that's because they don't do a lot of lineman specific stuff right now, the way like Nike and Adidas and Under Armour currently do. So it is a weird feeling for me. Now to start out, these cleats are available in a bunch of different colors. And they're actually like, honestly, one of the most affordable lineman cleats, which is crazy too, because with the Jordan name carries a lot of prestige and you'd think that these would be more expensive, but they're actually very reasonably priced. Jordan, when they started producing like football cleats, they didn't like reinvent the wheel. It's not the same way that the Alpha Menace cleats come up with their new traction plate. Jordan at this current stage is taking existing technologies and applying it to their branding. So this is a Jordan 10 Retro Mid upper on this cleat with a Nike Elite TD traction plate. This traction plate first came out on the uh, Nike Lunar Beast Elite TDs uh, about five, six years ago. And it is a very good traction plate. Now, a couple things since then that Nike has done is they have changed from these large circular style studs to the more geometrically shaped studs that grip in the ground a lot better. Having said that though, this has some really nice beefy tabs, talons in the middle of it here. You have a bunch of these long studs, so they are decent for traction, but they're not as best as some of the current technologies. And then you do have these edge studs as well, which don't really do a lot in my opinion. Um, at least it's very, it's very hard to test with these edge studs because they might add a little bit, but unless they send you a model where it's like with, when, with, without, it's hard to compare side by side. Now, moving up from that, one of my actually favorite things on this cleat is gonna be this right here. Yes, these cleats have a midsole. The way that basketball shoes do, that a lot of football cleats don't, is they don't have a dedicated midsole in them. Now, the Four Savage Pros and the Four Savage Elite TDs both have the same Lunar Lawn midsole, and it's fantastic. It's incredibly comfortable to wear. Um, and I think, like, honestly, if I could have got these in a 12 and a half, these would be like the most comfortable cleats uh, I would have ever owned, because my other Jordans were so comfy. Now, moving up from there, you have a two-piece leather upper. So you basically have one piece that wraps along here to kind of help. Um, it's, I'm assuming it's supposed to help with like blowouts on the side of your foot, keeping it intact. And then one more piece of leather underlaid underneath that here. Now, the leather is going to be decent for durability, but it is gonna lack a little bit of the protection that some of the newer models have. Having said that though, the breathability on the newer models are not very good. That's what makes this like a good all-purpose cleat in my opinion is like you're not getting super breathability and you're not getting super protection, but you're getting a little bit of both. And so it's like a good middle ground. Moving on top of that, you do have the lacing system on here. Now the lacing system actually has a couple features. Number one, it's the laces connect on these pieces on the side, which I think ab look absolutely sick. The other really nice thing about these is how thick these laces are. Like these laces are really thick, really nice, should help prevent against people like cutting them with their cleats. So that's a nice feature as well. And then also, even if you didn't wanna rock the laces and like at practice, you know, sometimes at practice and stuff, you wanna rock your cleats like loose, but you can't because they'll fall off. These have something which is really cool. You have these elastic straps, which connect both sides of the cleats here. So even if you did have all the laces undone on these, they're still gonna stay really comfy on your feet because this elastic material across it basically holds the whole thing together. Looking at the padding on the inside of this cleat as well, it's like, it's super thick and comfy and it's like a nice squishy material. And if you guys have tried any like the Jordan basketball shoes, you already basically know what you're getting as an upper on this. 
It's crazy comfortable. It's lasted a very long time for a reason. So the tongue does say Jordan 23. And then on the inside of the tongue, you have the Air Jordan collection on the inside and like this retro 90s look. Again, it looks unreal. Now let's look at why linemen are mostly switching to this Air Jordan cleat over a bunch of other ones. Now here we have the four Savage Pros and here we have the Jordan 10 Retros. Now you can see most linemen are basically wearing one of these two cleats. Now when you're looking at these two cleats, they look slightly similar, right? High to mid ankle support, big beefy traction plate, a lot of lacing, really thick lacing on the front. But the big difference here is gonna be that extra ankle strap on here and the protection on the front. Now you're seeing a lot of interior linemen wear these four Savage Pros right now. And that's because I think there's just so much traffic going on inside in that interior three positions where they want more protection on their feet and they want a lot of ankle support for guys like rolling up on them. Where you're seeing the Jordans start to sneak in more at tackle. And that's because you're getting a little bit more breathability. You're getting a little bit more maneuverability when you're kicking back because it doesn't have that like crazy ankle support. And Honestly, tackles are just becoming like the swaggy position of the lineman, right? If you look at a lot of like left tackles like Morgan Moses, Trent Williams, Taylor Luan, these guys are absolutely swagged out to the nines. And that's why a lot of them, I think, are starting to rep Air Jordan. Now, if I had to recommend these cleats for a position other than O-line, I'd probably still go D-line. I'd go linebacker. And you've seen people at those positions wear them. Now, you've even seen like guys at like corner and receiver wear the low cut version of these cleats. And if you want a chance to rep Air Jordan on the field, which is a really cool thing to do nowadays, that's why you pick these up. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed my explanation on the Air Jordans and why I think linemen are starting to switch to these. They're a very good all purpose cleat that gives you enough breathability, enough protection, enough support to do a little bit of everything. And it's like, you don't have to go all in on one thing. And plus at the same time, they're super affordable. They look sick and they're Air Jordan. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, we put out two videos every single week. I'll check you next time.